but there were many others too. And later on, of course, Charles Darwin studied medicine at Edinburgh University here, just like his father and his grandfather beforehand. But he didn't like the sight of blood, so he finished his course rather early. He went off to do other things. And later on, he went off on his world trip uh, and the Galapagos Islands. And he wrote a book, Origin of Species, in 1859. And that became the, the book that had a huge repercussions on the world. The theory of evolution. In fact, he was the person that first came up with the theory of evolution. Poppycock! I beg your pardon, sir. I said poppycock. Well, who might you be? I'm Lord Bombardo, a High Court judge from the Enlightenment. I was friends with David Hume and the others you mentioned. You were wrong about Charles Darwin, sir. Whatever do you mean? Well, Charles Darwin's influence came from many before him including his grandfather Erasmus Darwin, who also came to Edward to study medicine. And I influenced him! Ah, oh, yes, I remember about you. Lord Neves was another High Court judge, 1875. He wrote a poem about him. Now, how does it go? Let me remember. Though Darwin now proclaims the law and spreads it far abroad, oh, the man that first the secret saw was honest, or Mombodo, the architect Precedence takes of him who bears the hodo, so up an atom, land of cakes, will vindicate Mombodo. Well, I'm glad he remembered me in a kindly light, but you know, I wrote about humans evolving from orangutans back in 1768. I was convinced there was still a primitive tribe with tails still living in the Bay of Bengal. You know, I even went as far as asking Captain Cook's botanist whether the locals had them in Australia. Uh, what did he say? No, sir, the locals don't have tails. <laughs> so it was you then that came up with the theory of evolution? Yes, and no. I was influenced by the Greeks Aristotle and Plato, and they in turn got their theories from a man called Pythagoras, and he studied under the Egyptian and Babylonian priests, don't you know? Let me get this straight. So, evolution is a pagan philosophy pretending to be science? No, not at all. The wisdom of these men was marvellous. I modelled my life on them. You know, I learned to take air baths because of the Greeks. Air baths? Yes, the Spartans used to do them. Running around like real men with nothing on. Uh, 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 you mean in summer? No, no. Once I even had to break the ice for a water bath. For goodness sake, man. You're a high court judge. Weren't you ever arrested? Oh, no, no. I did it on my own property. Although, I was arrested this once, you see. But that wasn't my fault, you have to understand. I was having a drink with some friends in the grass market and, well, there was all this shouting outside, so naturally, being who I was, I went to have a look. And then I was arrested. You know, they seemed to think I was the leader of the Porteous Riots. It was all rather embarrassing. Well, I'm sure it was. And it's really embarrassing for me, and I can't remember where I am in the tour. Something about David Hume. Oh, yes. Would you like to come round the front, everybody? <laughs> 